This is your girl, Regina Love from The Voice. Don't you just love it? And I'm with my girl, Checker C, on Yo Checker. All right, so we are going downstairs to get Regina Love. She's got an amazing voice. I don't even know where it comes from. It's like an old school, soulful, like, ooh, voice. But she was on The Voice and just got um, eliminated. So we're going to meet her now and get the juice. I think she should be out here. an event for Willie Gary. He's a prominent attorney mm -hmm. you know, around the world. And he had Michael Jackson there. And I yeah. sang before Michael Jackson spoke. Oh and then God. Michael came up to me and like touched me and says, your voice is angelic. So you, of course you knew that nobody could tell me that Michael wasn't going to be my husband when I was a little girl. Ah. Okay. <laughs> but having the uh, just, to, the, just to be in his presence and him talking to me and telling yeah. me my voice is angelic. I was, yeah. I was in awe. Was he one of your vocal inspirations? Are you kidding Obviously. me? Obviously, yeah. I had every poster, every <laughs> transition, everything. Yes, yeah. he was one of Absolutely. the ones. I mean, you're talking about Ben crying in your room for what? I don't know. I was crying. But I was just crying because I loved him so much. Right? You know. Who else were you? Oh my goodness, Aretha Franklin. Yeah. Patty LaBelle. Yeah. You know, they would call me on tour, Little Patty. Little Patty. <laughs> Patty yeah, LaBelle. You have that voice. Yes. I love, I mean, I love all of the greats. You know, Anita Baker, because you know, I'm from Detroit, hometown girl. Yeah. And all of the Motown people and just mm -hmm. everybody. But I also, my cousin, he was a musician. So I would listen to Chicago. I would listen to Three Dog Night. I would listen to all kind of music right. because he was a musician. Yeah. So our house was like a house of refuge. You know, when you get in trouble, I'm going to send you to your Aunt Dorothy house. You're going to get you straight and then get your life right. Then you'll be a good person <laughs> yeah. the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And that's what our house was. So I had like cousins that were musicians and everything. So I would always be around music. So I would have yeah. all type of genres of music from country and Western to, I mean, you name it. Wow. Yeah. That's great. That's good to have that multi, like, absolutely you know, everything, a variety going on yeah because you like never know well where you're gonna end up that's right <laughs> so fast forward take us to like what happened when you got the phone call to be on the voice well it was absolutely amazing i had had a little traumatic thing to happen i lost my son my dad and my mom back oh my to back God. and i Sorry. really i just stopped everything and something well i can't say something i know what it was my mom came to me and my son i was like look you were called to do something for the world get up and then my husband, we, we, we were sleeping. He woke up. He says, "Look, God spoke to me and told me to tell you to get up." So that was like the second your confirmation. Now the third confirmation. Mm -hmm. Get up. Whatever you you have, everything you need. Get up and do what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And I've always loved the voice. I've watched every season, and I would cry, scream, just like everybody else, you know, for everybody. Yeah. And I got on the line, and I just applied. And then they sent me my email, and it says your date is February 14th. Ah. 5 a.m. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Oh my God. <laughs> Every time he was like, hug, I was like, oh God, he's so you know, Is he short? Uh, you know what? He's like me. And like, he's okay. like, you know, he's not really a tall, tall guy, okay. but he's like, he's gorgeous. Yeah. You know, I mean, inside and out. Yeah. And, and the phenomenal thing, uh, working with Adam. You know, he says, you know, I've been waiting for it to do a song with a soul singer. So I'm putting wow. it out there, Adam. Look, we still behind, standing behind what you said, Adam. Mm -hmm. We're gonna still do that song together. And it's it's just it's just for to just to be in his presence and to learn from him. Cause you know, I've been yeah, in the gospel yeah. industry, you know, my whole life, and then I've sang all type of music. But to be in his presence to get that seed planted inside of me was phenomenal. Yeah. You know, and and it, it's it's so great. And it, the thing that he said would really touch my heart when I was stolen from him. He says, you know, forget about this woman's amazing voice. We all know that she can sing and she's talented. But this woman changed my life, wow. being in her presence. And you're talking about tears. I mean, I'm like, God, it's I'm trying to be fun on TV. And I'm like crying, man, you know, because he's saying it. And then that's when Gwen jumped up and she was crying. She says, whatever you gave Adam, I need that in my life. I need that. And she just pressed her she button. Picked you next. She picked you Because she didn't turn from me. Cause she said, "What am I gonna teach her?" She said, I, "The reason why I didn't turn." She was very honest. She said, "I mean, what am I gonna teach you?" But she doesn't know that I need it, but she has too. Yeah. And then you know what? It's so funny because Father was telling me, you know what? You have something to impart into Gwen. 
Mm. And you're going to do that. And she's going to impart something into you. Really? And I'm telling you, it was just that good. So what did oh you impart into her? You know what? And it's not done yet. Okay. It's not done. That's why she's on the finger, too. You have her on your on, nail. That's right. I have her on my nail. <laughs> did you see that? The nail of Gwen Stefani? Yeah, Wait my daughter, she's Ashley Alexander. She's, she's a nail artist, and she did that for me. And, and I don't know why I just said, put, put her on my finger. Because I want to know, because, you know, people go through a lot of things. You see a lot of the celebrities and stars, and you think, that, oh, my God, they just so... But and then she's been people. dating Blake all season, too. So that's like <laughs> You know, when they need people just to be in their corner and have their back. Yeah. You know, just that support system. Yeah. And that's what I, I know, you know, when we were together, it was amazing. She took me off camera to go back in her dressing room to oh, like wow. meet with her stylist and they love me and I love them too. Shout out to the stylist team <laughs> for Winston. Funny, those are my family, man. Really? And just to be in their presence and she said, you know what? She shared some personal things. And I, I just really, I, right. I'm just grateful for her to feel free to do that. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. I pray for you and I do. I pray wow. for all of them because they need people to just have their back. Yeah, we I all mean, do. celebrities go through things yeah. too. And you, and you can't talk to anybody because people will tell your business oh for a God. dollar. For you a know dollar. that. You know that. But not me. See, what you what you see is, hey, if I'm for you, I'm for you. Yeah. And, I, and I'm not for all that foolishness because yeah. somebody got to have somebody to confide in. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's why I'm so glad that people see that in me. And because I, I, out here in this industry, you already know. Yeah. You know? And that's what it's I want to bring game. back integrity. To this, to this industry, to this entertainment industry, Absolutely. because we need that we'll go a lot further. Yeah, you know. Do you think there's pressure? Like, um, I know, like Ruben Stutter when he, you know, ended up doing American Idol and stuff. He got off, then all of a sudden he, you know, went on this big diet and stuff. Do you think there's pressure? To go there's a lot of there's a lot of pressure, and 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 that's what I'm gonna let them know that, honey, I love the skin that I'm in. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm gonna have that thing. You know, when my chips get right, you know, we all gonna do a little something, something. <laughs> But until then, I love Regina. Love, don't you just love it? Just yeah. like I am. Yeah. And who and, and whoever don't accept me, you're not the one. Right. So how long has it been that you haven't recorded? Because it's, oh my god, everything well, is recorded. So everything how long is has recorded. It been that you're not on stage. So um, you mean from before the voice or like now? The voice. The, well, it's been a minute. It's been like about I said about a few weeks because okay. every song that we do. We record before we sing it in the iTunes. Okay. And, you know, they take care of that business. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so before, the last song that I, I performed on The Voice was Hello by Adele. Right. And what made you choose that song? It was a collaboration of people, mm -hmm. you know. And um, you know what? I love, first of who all, I love Adele. Who was your voice coach at the time? My, my, who was my vocal coach? Yeah. Who Her was the, the Jolani. Okay. Jolani. But who was the one that picked you and said you should do this? Well, it's it's like it, it's a lot of the producers, a lot of everybody there, okay, okay, you know. Okay. And first of all, we didn't think that the song would be cleared to do ah, because right. Adele clear. had never performed the song out publicly before I did it. Okay. And it was an amazing thing, but that day, a lot so of stuff was going on. So you publicly did it before, huh? Yeah. Woo! Yes. Such pressure. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff that was going on that day. That yeah. That Oh my God. I actually was dealing with bronchitis. Mm -hmm. That I had to actually record the song to get it ready for iTunes. Okay. And, and the recording process for the voice is no. I bet. Not crazy. Repeatedly. And I had like the hardest song to sing for that whole night. Oh my so God. I had to do that like two days before. Ooh. Yeah. But you sounded great in performing. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was I think amazing. your voice is you, though, and her yes. voice is her. And we're two different opposite. people, and that's what Gwen said. Gwen said, you know what? You're going to even help her to reach a, a, an audience that she never reached before yeah. with your voice because you're going to put your own spin on it. Yeah. And, and people, you know, how her fans, because Adele has diehard fans, and I am one of them. And Adele, if you're out there, I can't wait to do something with you, baby. Yes. Because I love that girl. There. I love her, baby. She's great. I love her. I love her spirit. Yeah. I love her voice, her music. Mm -hmm. And I was very honored to do that. Mm -hmm. 
and I look forward to working with her too. I love it. Put it in the air. You yes, never know. I love that, girl. Adele. You never know, hey. Listen, yeah, we talk about Heart Health and Pocketbook here, and okay. I wanted to ask you financially. I think I asked you a little bit before, mm-hmm. but I didn't get really a clear answer. Right. Financially, has this been a major investment for you? Did you have to invest in anything? Yes, I did. Yes, I did because I had to not work. <laughs> And, and do this and and people don't know i mean you're like praying like god work this out mm-hmm. because i was like at the bottom wow. of the barrel right. okay and just when i tell you when i tell you when you just believe yeah. and step out everything it'll fall in place when a big bill will come out of nowhere a check will come. That's great. i'm like i'm like oh my. So do you actually get paid to do the voice? You know, they give, they give you a little little stipends and things okay, like that and take okay. care of your lodging and things like that. Okay, but, okay. But as far as, like, I mean, I am mature. The other people are 16 and whatever, so you can imagine my bills right. to their Hello. staying with their mom. Right. Okay. <laughs> so right. it was totally a sacrifice for me yeah. and totally being on faith for me. So when I was on iTunes, right? it's on iTunes. So people can yes. purchase, or is people it can purchase it on okay. iTunes. I have four, uh, four things on iTunes, and when I go back, hopefully, I'll have my own single. They're not original um, songs, though, are they? No, they're cover okay. songs of what we, oh, everything okay. that we did on the voice. Right, you can purchase on iTunes, okay. and we still get a little something, something for that. So crazy, nice. Yes, you know, yeah. and then you know you get royalties. Yeah, for you know, you be able to show you get. You get we do it's commercials. Really for like yeah. uh, okay, coals and things like that. Have so. you heard from any companies um, since since you? Well, been actually, you know, because we're labels? we're with the voice, so you know they have, they go through the powers that be, and you know have people reaching out. So you're contracted. So, yeah, we're okay. contracted. So you know we're waiting for different things, and a lot of people have been approaching me on a lot of oh, different good. things. And I'm how believing, long is the voice contract? Well, you know, it's they have a. Way we're, we're, you know, we're not really supposed to say, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, <laughs> but it's good. It's but you're good. allowed to accept, but I'm allowed, and they don't stop you point. from okay. from furthering on, okay, you know, good. just have to go through the powers that be, yeah, and it's amazing. And you know, my little invention, what, what, my, and what I'm embarking into is we're gonna do some daytime television, we're gonna put that out there, too. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and music and acting, you know, so. We're open for commercials, whatever, you know. Yeah. Any producer, Scorsese, hey, you know, yeah. anybody. We're, we're, we're ready I for that. I can see you doing a lot of voice work, too. Yeah. Just because your voice yes. is so cool. Yes, and I love doing voice mm-hmm. Love yeah. doing that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just I'm just grateful for the opportunity and for, you know, the world didn't know who Regina was, but now the world now does. Now the world does, because that TV, <laughs> honey, is Yes! You would not believe the people from Dubai and from oh my Philippines God, and imagine. from Brazil. I mean, Crazy. I'm getting Honduras, and I didn't even know that they could see it there. But yeah. it's worldwide. Oh, yeah. And they have fans. And I'm just so grateful to have that platform. Love it. Well, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you, honey. Great meeting you. Yes. Where can, what's your website? Anywhere My website is Regina. I am Regina Love dot com, and please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I am Regina Love. Perfect. It's all the way thank around. You. And then the Facebook fan page is Regina Love. Thank I you so much, Regina. honey. Thank you. I got to come back. Now you my family I know. now. <laughs> yes. It's official. Yes. I have my t-shirts out too. Oh. Yes. Really? Don't you just love a t-shirt. Yeah. Okay. What is it? Are it going to be all different? Friends? It's going to be different. Don't you just love a t-shirt and then the lovers because that's my team, team lovers yeah. and the lovers. Yeah. And then my, you know, we're going to have all the little stuff. It's got to be branded. The franchise. Yes. yes. It's like yes. all within. Yes. Regina yeah. Love. Don't you just love it. I love that. <laughs> don't you just love it. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.